guys, here we are continuing on in my collection and declutter video series. Um, I did not like the way I did my lip one. However, there were so many products. I wasn't sure how else to do it besides laying them all out on my living room floor like I did. And so um, I wanted to do this one differently. If you haven't seen that one yet, I will link it up here that you can check out because I that was my biggest declutter yet. Like I've, I got rid of the most items that I've ever gotten rid of in a declutter. So um, I was proud of myself for that, but I didn't love that filming style. So um, I wanted to do this one a little bit different. So that is what we were doing. So today we are working on my drawer that has all my eyeliners and that kind of stuff. I'm noticing there's some dust on there. Yeah. Um, some like single shadow type things, um, liquid shadows, all that kind of stuff. So basically this is what we're working with. This, I don't want anything to fall but this whole drawer here. So we are just going to go through, I'm not gonna do any type of order because I'm not gonna separate between or anything like that like I did with like the lip products. So we're just gonna get right into it. So I'm going to be brutal about this because there's so many things in here I do not use. This drawer, I can't find like the eye pencils and stuff that I want to find, like it's just getting annoying. So we are going to change that. So first I have these um, shadow shields. I'm actually gonna keep those because I would like to do some more like funky kind of looks, which you're gonna be say, seeing coming up. Definitely look out for some. Um, yes, I've been much more lately into like neutral kind of looks for my everyday looks and stuff, but I've got some new products coming that I'm gonna be testing out and I'm gonna do some fun stuff with them. So I'm probably gonna use this with that. So I'm gonna keep those. Now this is the, um, this is so strange. I just realized what this says. Anyway the um, eyebrow stamp kind of thing. It works nice, like I, I appreciate it, but I never reach for this. I am never gonna be someone who pulls this out and uses this for my brow routine. I just know that about myself. I haven't done it yet since I recorded with it. So there's no sense in me keeping this. The thing I just noticed about it, it says hairline, your beauty start, your beauty start from the hairline. Okay, that makes me feel like it's something you could use to fill in your hairline. I don't know. Interesting. But yeah, so there's no sense in me keeping that. I actually sent, they sent like two sets of the stencils. I set, sent another set to someone else who had asked me about them. So um, yeah, but I will not use those. So we're going to go ahead and set those to the side. All right. I'll grab a couple mascaras I see here. Um, like I said, I might not get all of them in one go. So we might have to revisit certain types of products, but who cares, right? Okay, so I have the um, uh, Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This mascara is fabulous. I love this stuff, keeping it. I have the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. It's funny because I hadn't liked this when I've been using it, but I used it today and I really liked it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it. Um, the Ciate London Triple Shot Extra XXL mascara. This has become my favorite mascara. I love this stuff. It's a fiber mascara. It has a strange smell to it that lingers for like 20 minutes or so, but once it's gone, it's gone. I don't know if other people can smell it. I can probably just smell it because it's so close to my nose, but um, I love what this does for my lashes. Sometimes I just need one coat of it, so I really love that. Um, so if anyone has any and they don't want to use it, you can send it to me. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> then this is the Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara. I wasn't super excited about it when I first got it. I feel like I remember it being way too wet. However, I used that today and I really like how it turned out using it with the um, Essence Lash Primer. So I'm going to hold on to that and get use out of it. And then I have the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express um, Mascara and this is the waterproof one. This used to be my absolute favorite mascara. I loved this mascara. I don't love it as much now, but I still like it, and I'm going to use this up. I don't know if I'll buy it again, but I will use this up, and I'm going to just throw it away because I do like it, and waterproof for summer. Yes, yes for me. Next up, I have a few tool-type things or brush that's in here. I'm not really sure why that is, but I have my eyelash curler, keeping that. I have my lash separator, um, and this is a J-Cat Beauty one that I got not that long ago, and it looks like this, and I do use it occasionally, and so I am going to keep that. And then um, I have these really cool, um, my friend Penny, so she doesn't have a channel. If she did, I would link it, um, but she is amazing. Actually, she has an Instagram, so I'm going to put that down in the description box. I hope you don't mind, Penny. Um, but her husband made these with 3D printer, with a 3D printer. They are shadow presses, so if your shadows um, crack, like if you get something in the mail and a shadow or you drop something or whatever and your shadows crack, 
you can repress them with these. So super awesome. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of those. And then I also have in here my newest um, Morphe M433 brush. And so um, obviously I'm not getting rid of, rid of that, but it should be in with my brushes. I'm not really sure why it's there. Um, and then I did have this brush because it goes with this Patrick Ta and it's just uh, like a soap brow. Well, it's a wax actually, shaping wax like this. And it came with the brush with the spoolie and the angled. So I'm keeping those. Those are for my friend Senia. And then let's see here. I've got some different brow products. Um, let's see. This is what I can see right now. Like I said, I'll end up finding more because that's just the way it goes um, as I'm going through here. But this is what I'm going to show you for now. Oh, I found another mascara. This is the Grande Drama. Um, Intense Thickening Mascara. I forgot I had that in there. See, that's why I want to do this. So this I need to put closer with my mascaras because I did really like this. I got that from my friend Christy Pope. Um, she sent to me a set for Christmas. And so, yay. Okay, now I've got some brow products. This is my tried and true. I think I have two backups in my little backup bin. And so this is the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift Pencil. Spoolie on one end. Pencil on the other. And, oh, should put it the right way so I can show you. So this is kind of the shape of it. Like I said, I've bought so many of these. I will continue to buy these. They are my go-to brow pencil. They're inexpensive. I think they're like, they might be like $3 now, I think. Um, but yeah, they're fantastic. Maybe they're four, because I know the e.l.f. stuff did go up, I think like a dollar. So I think they're, they might be $4. Okay, today I actually used this Item um, Beauty Deep Brunette pencil. So this has the little brush thing on the one end. And then this is what the pencil looks like. And I got this in an Ipsy, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I used it today. It's a good color for me. I'm keeping it. I have the Hourglass Arch, and this is in Dark Brunette, Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. So this is just a teeny tiny little guy. And so um, sometimes I like this, but these are not what I typically go to because I feel like it takes too long to do my brows and I just want to be faster than that. So I like a little thicker one, but I still like it. I'm going to use it and it's hourglass. It's the only thing I own from hourglass. So it makes me feel a little bougie. So I'm keeping it like my Patrick Ta wax brow product because that's the only thing Patrick Ta I have. So let this girl just have her little bougie moments. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I have the Juvia's Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Pencil. I don't know why I have it in the box. I am bad about that with stuff. I've been getting better, not keeping all the boxes for everything. This is in dark brown, and I do like it. I got it in a, I think in a mystery box that I did with Juvia's. Um, again, this is a really small one though, so I don't tend to reach for those as often. So, um, but I still wanna, I still wanna use it, you know. I'm gonna throw garbage on the floor. That's what we're doing. Okay, then I have this Merit Beauty. Merit Beauty. Um, this is in black brown, and this is their volumizing pomade um, for brows. And I do really like this, so I'm keeping that. This is Tint Brow Gel. I got this in an Ipsy a while back, I'm pretty sure. I used it today. It literally does nothing. I keep using it, and it keeps doing nothing. And I think it's starting to get dried out anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is a ColourPop. Snow Cute Hello Kitty and Friends a Mini Glitterly Obsessed Kit. The, so there's four different ones in there. There's a gold, a purple, a pink, and a green. They're beautiful. They do not do well on my eyes. I think it's because my eyes are so hooded and I have really oily skin. I prime. I do all that good stuff. Shadows will last fine with priming and stuff. But any of the glitter stuff like this, it just cr like kind of cracks up and gets like goopy looking on me so as much as I hate to get rid of these because I literally I think used two of them once and was like realistically it just doesn't work for me and I just haven't really been into glitter so I am going to let these go even though they're so dang cute but I'm doing this I'm doing this kids this is the milk makeup eye pigment and it is in the shade does it say somewhere sesh and so it looks like this I've still got it in the little be thing because that's what I do. This is actually a very, very pretty color. Um, I did a video with it, but I don't, I'm not really sure where that is. Um, this is going into a maybe. This is a maybe. Okay. This is the Eye Method Beauty um, Winged Eyeliner Stamp. Um, I want to play with this more, so I am going to go ahead and hold on to that. 
This is the NYX Glitter Primer. I love this stuff when I'm using more glittery things. And um, I actually have a backup. I don't know why this isn't in my backup bin. So I'm going to keep this one and move this to my backup bin so it's not taking up space in this drawer because I don't know why I did that. Okay, next, these are some NYX um, like face and body glitters. They are in gold, copper, and ruby. Very pretty. I never use anything loose like this. I never use. I, in like this weird part of my mind, I'm like, oh, but maybe I will because that'll be really pretty. No, I won't. So I'm going to let go of that. <laughs> this is an Essence um, pencil sharpener. I don't know why it's in this drawer though because it should be in this where I keep my other pencil sharpener things and stuff. So let's just go ahead and pop that in there right now and be done with it. Okay, there's that. All right, these are some like neon liners from Profusion that I had gotten um, at Halloween a few years ago. That's why they're the RIP. Um, I keep holding on to them. Don't ever use them. I'm not going to use them, so I'm going to let them go. This is the Tarte, the Eye Architect. Um, it's got a shadow and a liner, so the liner is bigger like this, and then the shadow is a very strange little thing. It's like a little thing like this. I never used this. I kept this last time around and I've never touched it. So I'm going to let that go. I have this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I do use this, so I'm going to keep that. I have a little IT Superhero Mascara. I like this mascara. I'm going to keep that. I found in here this little um, Dito Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara, which I probably got in a Ipsy or something. It still has the seal on it. I'm going to put that in my backup bin. Again, I'm not really sure why it's in here, but okay. I have um, a couple more brow products. I have this Lottie London Arch Rival um, Brow Artist Pencil in dark brown. I got this in a Walmart beauty box. And the first one I got was just brown and it was way too like warm toned. And then I got this one the next time and I this is perfect for my um, like brow color. It's got a little tiny spoolie and it again is one of those really tiny ones. So not my go-to grabs, but definitely something that I will use. And then this is a Koki eyebrow pencil in dark brown that I just got in um, Ipsy, I'm pretty sure. And it is teeny tiny too. So um, again, I will use that. So I'm going to hold on to those. And then I just got in my May Ipsy this Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their dip brow and it's in um, dark brown. So I'm excited to use that because I've never used that before. So keeping that. I also have these double eyeliners. Um, it's a felt like a felt tip eyeliner on one end, like this. And then the other end is a stamp. And so this one is a moon. This one is hearts. This one is flowers, my personal favorite. And this one is star. So these were for my cousin Debbie, Debbie Tan, and I am keeping those. I have plans for things I wanted to do with these. So um, yeah, with some other products that I'm going to be having coming in, I think those are going to be incorporated as well. So um, so yeah, that'll be fun. I thought these were in my backup thing, but no, they were just tucked against the side over here. So here's my two other Elf Brow pencils, but they are going in my backup bin. Now I don't use much in the way of liquid liners. Um, I don't like to very typically line that upper part of my or you know just above my lashes just because my lids are so hooded so I hate to take up space there um but if something's thin enough then I can but I'm not real good with liquid liners just because I don't use them very often but I would like to get better with that because you'll end up seeing why in the future here um but so I do have some but I there are a lot I have let go of over the years that have come in subscription things and stuff because I just don't use them so um these ones are ones that I've kept I really like this brand this is the Araceli, I think it's how you say it, Ojos Perfectos Liquid Liner. I have it in coffee and in night, so a brown and a black. Those I really like. I really like this formula, so I am keeping those. They're like not too wet, but they're not dry. They just go on nice. They stay put. I like them. Um, then I have two of the ColourPop liquid liners. I have one in Crazy, which is a blue, and Graceland, which is white. And so those are fun. I have not been using them, but I would like to, so I'm going to keep those. And then... Um, I have this Private Society um, leading liner in brown, and I do like that one, so I'm going to keep that. And then this Hank and Henry um, Slick With It, and it's in the shade Blickety Blue. It still has actually the plastic on it, so I haven't even tried that yet, so I'm going to hold on to that one too. 
I have these two. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And then I have this Maybelline Cover Stick. And it is in, um, it's a concealer stick, but it's white. Um, that my cousin Debbie sent me. This she loves, or at least she used to. I don't know if she still uses these, but she would use um, to really like make her eyeshadows very vibrant. So kind of like as a primer. Um, I never really reach for either of these. So this one I'm definitely going to let go. And then um, this one, I think I will hold on to because I want to try to do a little more cut crease stuff and this would make stuff really vibrant. I I'm gonna put this in my maybe. <laughs> this is a pretty vulgar, the ink blacklist gel eyeliner. I have never used this, I never will. I don't know why I keep holding on to it. I think because the packaging is so cute and it just, I'm like a sucker for really cute packaging. And so why in the world though am I keeping that? Like if I had somewhere where I had things set out and this was like a prop or something, then maybe. But I don't, so I'm gonna let that go. This is a Profusion um, pressed glitter pigment in black. And the shade itself, I'll show it to you. I got it again at that Halloween time, whatever. The shade is awesome. However, I don't like glitter on me. I don't. I just don't wanna deal with it. It's messy and I just, I don't like it. So I'm gonna let go of that. Next up, I have a few more like brow type things and stuff. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow and it's just a little sample one um, in shade 4.5. I don't remember what it does, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it and try it out because, or what it does. I know what it does. <laughs> I don't remember how it worked for me, so I'm going to try it again. This is the Brow Gale um, Highlighter Pencil in gold and nude. And so the nude end right here is really great for like, um, to bring brightness up here in your eye. Um, the gold down there, I love for like your inner corner. I just, I really like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it. This is the Benefit Highbrow, and it has that same concept with like the nude to brighten up, um, you know, carve out under your brow and stuff. So, um, hmm. let's see. Because they are two pretty different shades. Yeah, this one's much more of a yellow tone and this is more of a pink tone. So this one works better in like the summer, you know, when I have a little bit of a tan and this is more of a wintry color. So I will go ahead and just keep both of them. This is a Salon Perfect um, Brow Defining Palette. I actually got this in a Walmart beauty box a really long time ago. And oh, I guess I did maybe use it a little bit. So like that, but typically I do not use powder stuff on my brows. In the past, I did all the time actually, but now I have my pencils that I know I really love. So there's really no sense in me keeping this and having it just sit around. So I'm, I'm gonna let that go. This is a ColourPop Freckle Pen still in the packaging. I know I will never use this. It's just not me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. This is the MAC um, Spellbinder Shadow and Stars Align. And I actually got this from the cosmetics company store um, before Christmas. And I sent one to Rena from Boxes and Deals um, because I had her for our 12 days of Advent um, like gifts collab. And so I have not even used this yet because I've been planning to use it on camera. So I'm gonna keep that. This is a Crown um, Blue Steel Gel Eyeliner and it's a gorgeous shade of blue. It's still got the wrap on it. Like, I feel like maybe it could be really cool. I am gonna keep it, cause, cause I am. I have a couple um, like single shadow type things in here. This is the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in Grandstand. And then I also have this Juvia's eyeshadow. It's in Empress and it's like a dark plum. Um, I need to get, and I've said it a million times, I've been saying it for like a year and just haven't done it. I need to get a magnetic palette because I have some Sydney Gray shadows and stuff that I absolutely love and um, a blush and a highlight from them and stuff. And they're in the bag when I did the mystery bag because I don't have a palette to put them in. So I need to get like a big magnetic palette to be able to put the stuff in. So I am gonna hold on to them and just make that like, I just need to do it, you know? And then these are some other little um, like single shadow things I have. This is a sugar pill shadow in the shade Poison Plum. And it is so pretty, but I never reach for single stuff like this. So I'm gonna let that go. And I also have two of the KVD um, Metal Crush eyeshadows. This one is in Thrasher and this one is in Thunderstruck. And they are very pretty. 
but again, I do not reach for them, so it's just time to let them go. I do have this KVD little um, Alchemist uh, holographic transformer. I've got it in the box. Danielle, stop it. Stop it with the packaging. <laughs> there's, there's something else that's in packaging in here that is making me laugh that I'm like, why do you do that? And so this is what, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that on the floor. This is what it looks like, like the packaging. And that's what it looks like. And you can put it over top of different shadows and stuff. And so since it's in the box, I definitely don't like reach for stuff like that in the box. Like it just seems like too much work. Now that I could just grab real quick and use, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> now I've got a couple like shadow stick kind of things or shadow crayons. This one is in Tahitian Shimmer and it's from Tristique. And it looks like this. And it's very pretty. I do wanna try that out because I um, have been kind of going Sometimes for like I want for summer, especially if I'm camping, I like to have a little bit of makeup on at least. And I want to have something that's super easy that I can just put on and like blend out real quick or something and have it look nice. So that's what I want to do with that. Which leads me to this Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in Aurora. And these are really pretty for that too. And that's a totally different type of color than the other one. So um, yeah, I think that'll be really pretty for summer. And the type of thing you can just rub it on your lid real quick and smudge out with a brush. And it's like you have a little something, but it's not like overdone, you know? Um, cause yes, I will even wear a little makeup to the beach when we're camping. That's just the way it is. Here are my ColourPop gel liners. I love these. They are not going anywhere. So yes, I will be keeping all of those. And something that I'm laughing about with packaging is I also have these other ColourPop, but it's the B&B and they're in the cute little box. But Danielle, do you really need to keep the box? Again, because I'm looking in there going, oh, I'm going to open up this box and take these out and use them. No, I'm not. So these are the shades of those ColourPop um, pencils. And so I'm going to take them out of the box and keep them and use them. Weird idea to use your makeup, right? Yeah. These are my um, LA Girl Neon Shockwave or Shockwave Neon Liners. And I love all of those. So keeping those. These are some more LA Girl um, liners just in different formulas. So these are the Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liners and these are the shades of those. Now this one still has the packaging on it but these two I have used and I do like them so I'm going to keep all of those. And then these are the um, LA Girl Pastel Dream liners and I like those so I'm keeping those as well. These are all my NYX eyeliners. There's a couple different formulas here. Um, this one is the slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. Wow. Okay. But yeah, I'll keep that. Pretty green. And then I've got a few of these ones that are the um, just retractable eyeliners. That's what these three are. I really like those and then I have this epic wear one which mama glow Gloria sent me I absolutely love this it's such a pretty blue shade and it's a little bit shimmery gorgeous I see and then this is the NYX um they don't have this anymore because it was with a line that they had but it's there it was off traffic um pro liner and happy hour this is such an awesome bright pink eyeliner I'm so sad that they don't have it. like you can see it's you know I've been using it and yeah I'm sad because I wish I I wish they still had it. These are from Physicians Formula. They are their Shimmer Strips um, liners. I've had these for years and I actually decluttered a bunch of them last time. So the only ones I kept were this really pretty ooh, purple and then these two that are a little more like nude but they have a little bit of like glitteriness to them and I do use them all so I'm going to keep them. Sneaking in here is another brow pencil. This is from Real Her, and um, this is, I believe I got this from Ipsy as well, another little tiny pencil. So I, yeah, I definitely don't prefer the tiny ones and I've got a lot of them. So maybe I should just start getting through some of them because I don't want them to go bad and there's no sense in not using them because there's something I can use. So um, yeah, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Here's a mashup of some other eyeliners. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil in Lucky. This is such a gorgeous capri I wear this a lot. You wouldn't think so with how big the, um, you know, how big the pencil still is, but it's so creamy. It glides on like, I do maybe like two passes real quick on my waterline and it looks gorgeous. So um, with my uh, Juvia's Warrior palette that I've been loving using lately, like on repeat, 
this goes so gorgeous with a lot of those looks. So definitely keeping it. And then I also have one of the um, black liners from um, Thumb 2. I believe it's in the shade Perversion is what it's called. Yeah, a black one, but it's just a mini. I've got a Lottie London Am 2 PM Mocha. It's just a brown. I do use it, so I'll keep it. This Smashbox, it's a always on gel eyeliner in fishnet, which is black. Use that, so I'll keep it. This Avon True Color, I got this in an MCA a couple years ago, I think, and it's their Glitter Six Diamonds. It's in sepia. I love this. I use that a lot as well. This is a Trey Loose um, Intenso Liner Gel Color Pencil in the shade Grounded, and it's this cool, like, green color. I have not used it yet, so I definitely want to, but those are colors I use more in, like, the fall and winter, so um, definitely keeping it, though, because that's really pretty. I'm just realizing, though, I have this Believe Beauty Long Lasting Eyeliner in... Olivia, which is an olive green color. So this is that one I just showed you, and then this is that one. So I'm actually going to get rid of the Believe Beauty one because this Trey Loose one looks a lot prettier, and I don't remember being thoroughly impressed by the Believe Beauty one, so I might as well pass it on to somebody else who could use it because you can just cut the end off, and then it's, it's good to go. This also I think I got in an empty at one point. It's the 1999 Lustro, um, precision color pencil and so it's just a really pretty champagne color love it keeping that um another ipsy beauty for real and this is in peacock this is such an awesome color definitely keeping it this is a bodyography eye pencil in emerald looks like that very pretty keeping that this Elmay, I just used this the other day, actually. Um, Gel Smooth Liner Metallics. They don't even make this anymore, and um, it's in pink about it. It's just a really pretty, like, kind of shimmery pink, and so definitely like that one. Keeping it. And then last up is this Scone Cosmetics Pretty Eyes in Plum, which I think this must have come in a um, Ipsy as well at one point, and it is a pretty shade. I do use that, too, so I will keep that. And then the last of my liners are these Essence they are the extreme lasting um pencils and i'm telling you guys they claim to last 16 hours i mean i don't i don't really wear makeup for 16 hours so i don't know but so this is my black midnight sky that i'm still i'm still holding on i just just sharpened her again today and uh use that i use that up in my to tightline my upper lash line a lot and um yeah so i have that and so i also have a backup of that particular shade and then I have a black and a brown and I have the nude so these are phenomenal if you are looking for an eyeliner that will last and is inexpensive I cannot recommend these essence pencils enough like definitely it is the essence extreme lasting waterproof eyeliner pencils so make sure you're looking for the right ones the extreme lasting because I can't speak to the other ones but I can to these and they are awesome so definitely check those out if you haven't already and are looking for an eyeliner okay and I kept what I feel like is the most fun stuff for last so these are like liquid shadows um liquid uh like glitter liners glitter shadows that kind of stuff okay so let's get into that First off, I will just go ahead with this because I already know I'm not getting rid of any of them. I have a bunch of the House Labs. Um, I have the Liquid Shimmer Powder um, formula, and I also have, what's the other one called? Uh, all Over Metallic Cream formulas. So I will just quickly go through and show you, like so you can get an idea with colors, like a brown and a champagne. This is a champagne too, but it's like a lighter one. This is a kind of a purpley pink, gold. Uh, there's like a rosy pink kind of one. This one is like black. This one is emerald green. This one's red. And this one is like a gunmetal. And so those are not going anywhere. I stink and love those. <laughs> and so absolutely love them and I'm keeping those and want to use them a lot more than I have them lately. I was using them a lot in like the winter months, like when I first got them and then haven't been so much, but like those glittery, the shimmer, the liquid shimmer powders, the way they blend out, they're so like sparkly, but like um, a lot of them are more like fine, almost seem like a little bit like of a topper if you shimmer them out enough. And so it just gives like a very pretty like shimmer on your lids, like a little, little glittery, but it's very fine glitter, you know? And so, um, yeah, love those. So keeping all of those. 
Now, I have two of the Stila, um, what are these called? Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows. These never worked well on my eyes. They just didn't. I, they got crumbly and just like kind of like those glitterly obsessed um, glitter gels from Colourpop do to me. Um, they're in Burnished Sienna and Follow the Sun. So I'm going to go ahead and let those go because I don't use them because they don't work well on me. And then I have this MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in Love Yourself. This is so pretty. That is not going anywhere. Definitely keeping it. This Eloise um, Pure Gold Liquid Shadow is so stunning. Like, when I wear this, people comment on it. It is beautiful. So definitely keeping that. This is the Koki Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow. And um, let's see. It's in the shade Polaris. I actually, I think this was a choice item for Ipsy one time that I chose. And this is the shade. It is really pretty. And I need to play with it more because I can't really remember how it does. So I need to, I need to play with that. This is the Pixie by Petra, by Petra. I knew a girl with this name, but she pronounced it Petra. But and then I hear people say Pixie by Petra, so I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, and it is in crystalline. And so it is just a very pretty... And this is fun, and you can add just a little bit to a look to give it a little oomph, and it doesn't have to be over the top, so I do really like that, and I'm going to keep that. Now, let's see here. I have these two Studio Glam liquid liners. Um, they're waterproof from Crown, and they're solid gold and gone platinum. So um, I need to play with these again and see how they do, because they are really pretty. Like, they're just a liquid liner like that. And, um, yeah, see about incorporating them a little bit more, you know, when I'm feeling a little funky. These are so gorgeous, which I'll probably tell you that I'm keeping them. Spoiler alert. These are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Liners. Oh my goodness. Like glitter liners, I mean. Um, and they are in Midnight Cowboy, Volume, and Starfire. These are so stunning. A little pop of this along your upper lash line with like a neutral eye look so pretty um actually i had done it for christmas eve um a couple years ago and my sister and my mom were like will you do that on our eyes <laughs> and so all three of us went to church with um actually i think it was with starfire on our you know just right along the upper lash line and it just gives when you blink you just catch that light you know like the little bit of shimmer and it's so pretty but it's subtle and so i love these they are fantastic they don't crack and come off weird or transfer anywhere obviously when you put it on like you wait a, you know wait a few seconds before you blink um especially if you have eyes like mine that are really headed but they didn't transfer nothing like that so um they are beautiful and i am keeping them and then last up i have these two um this is a prof profusion sparkling eyeliner and let's see the shade it does not say a shade but okay, but it looks like this. It's a very pretty like pinky, right? So again, I love stuff like this to just be able to add that tiny little bit wherever you want it. You know, this is different than, oh, that has a, a little brush hair that's gone awry. Different than like how, you know, these are liquid shadows. This is the metallic cream one actually. Um, and these are liners. So different, you know, totally different things. Like the shadows, obviously, you kind of put all over your lid. Where these, you just add the tiniest little touch you can do underneath. I do that sometimes, too. So you can do whatever you want with them. It gives you some little, you can do wings. You can do, I mean, it's, um, people do really cool cut creases and do it, like, along where the cut crease is. That doesn't work super great on my eyes just because they're so hooded. I try sometimes still, but. <laughs> and then I have this Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner. Um and it is in the shade dig it and i actually was sent this by lucy from what loose what loose does um lucy pert she is in england and she sent this to me in a back swap and it is just this has like a darker base so as opposed to like these you know kind of gold ones this has gold in it but it's got a dark base which you can kind of see there so a different kind of look and so I am keeping that one too. So I'm gonna get things situated here and then we will come back and I'll just do a quick run over of what I'm keeping, what I'm not, you know, like just the quick part. Okay, okay. 
Okay, I'm feeling good about this. All right, so first off, I will go ahead and just refresh your memory on a couple things. Ah. Sorry, dropped something. Um, I am going to put both of these brow pencils and this extra glitter glue and this mascara in my little um, backup makeup bin. Which, this is my backup makeup. So, it stays in this. I don't have, like, super crazy excess <laughs> backup. Then, these were my two um, questioning about products. This one I am going to keep because I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore. And um, as long as it's not, like, nothing's weird about it. Doesn't seem weird. Doesn't smell or anything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep that and just stick it because I can fit it in here. No problem. And then if I find myself never using it, next time I can let it go. And then this milk um, I'm pigment, it is beautiful. It is a very pretty blue. But the reality of me using this is just not that good. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go. So that's being let go. The little glitterly obsessed set is being let go. The Stila liquid shadows, glitter shadows, whatever they are. NYX Glitter, the um, Belief Beauty Eyeliner, these three single shadows, this brow powder set kit, whatever. Um, oh, this glitter, Profusion Glitter, uh, the gel liner, the brow stamp set, this tint is just being thrown away because it's useless. Um, the freckle pen, the milk jumbo eye pencil, the three neon liquid liners from Profusion, and this tart thing. So that is what I am decluttering. I feel like I decluttered a decent amount. And so I'm in hindsight, I never claimed that I was a pro professional here, people. So you can't, you can't even accuse me, but I should have taken a picture of the drawer when everything was in it first. Um, so that you could have seen, I mean, I know I lifted it up and showed you, but that wasn't the greatest representation, but I'm going to end the video by showing you what the drawer looks like now. Things are pretty easy to find. They're, you know, by section and that kind of thing. And, um, so I'm excited about it. So some of these things will be, um, moved to giveaway that I'm decluttering other things if they're not stuff that I think like liquid liners and stuff obviously you're not going to give to somebody else um like my sisters or somebody yes like I can probably do that if they want them but for the most part some of them I don't even think are worth keeping like these I'm pretty sure are throwaway so I'm going to kind of go through that stuff decide what's throwaway what's keep some stuff like I said will go into the um giveaway bin and then other stuff will you know I'll see if my sister's my mom or somebody wants it. So I'm happy about what I did here. I'm excited to hear what you think. And um, yeah, so next up, the last the last category I'm going to do. Oh, some of the things that you won't see in the drawer. I moved like my, um, the stamps to repress the um, shadows that Penny sent me. And the shadow shields and stuff like that. I moved to my eye um, lash drawer because there's more room in there and so I figured I might as well move those things there and since you know it's not like they're something I use all the time and um but other than that everything's fitting here inside the drawer and um I'm happy about it so all right thank you for watching on to the drawer I'll show it to you up close and just tell you real quick how I have things situated and we're good to go so thank you guys so much for watching I'll talk to you very soon bye so here we go. This is the front of the drawer. So I've got all of my eyeliners are here and they kind of go Essence, um, LA Girl, ColourPop, NYX. So they kind of just go in a little order there. And then this is all um, mascaras. And then I've just got my lash curler and lash separator right here on top. And then here is all brow products. These are like the little single shadows and stuff are just right here. Um, obviously all my House Labs, um, liquid shimmer powders, and metallic creams. Then I've got my liquid, or glitter liners, I guess, and my liquid shadows. And these are just those two, like, 
you know, crayon type ones. My glitter primer, these are all the liquid um, liners since I don't use those a lot. And that's the that stamp. And yeah, so that is how the drawer is looking now. So feeling good about it that I will be able to easily tell what's where and can get some use out of these things that I haven't been using. See you in the next one. Remember, it's going to be eyeshadow palettes, so that will be really fun. All right, see you then. Thank you.